COVID popped up and everything, and I felt like it was just like an extra challenge, you know? So I feel like it's finally all coming to the end and finally paying off. It's like, it's the best feeling ever, yeah. It's been a long road, but we made it. There was no doubt in our mind we would achieve and get to this day today. I'm pumped, honestly. I'm excited, especially this year. I'm able to like have my parents walk with me as well as my sister. This is my dad, my mom, uh, my grandma, my girlfriend, Kendall. I can't even explain how I'm feeling. I think we can all agree that 2020 with the pandemic and everything, it was just so hard to even see the end, of, the light at the end of the tunnel. And for someone like me who has to kind of pave their own way being first gen, this just means the world to me. Like, seeing all my loved ones here, I can't explain. I am very proud of what my friends and I have all accomplished here, and I can't thank Albany enough. Hey Great Danes, Mike Christakis here. Welcome to your official commencement ceremony. I hope those of you who were able to join us over the past few days for your Great Dane graduation experience had a great time walking across the stage and celebrating in person with your loved ones. We're so glad we could come together in this way to celebrate you. Thank you to our guests who are also joining us virtually today. The parents, children, grandparents, siblings and extended family and friends who have supported our graduates throughout their college careers and helped them reach this triumphant moment. And to our graduates, take a moment to thank those who've supported you along this journey. I want to say thanks to my family here. This is Robbie, this is my dad, this is Deepa, this is my mom. Shout out to my family. And a uh, shout out to my brother. I want to give a shout out to my girl, Salia. That's my uh, wife over there. We're very, very <laughs> proud of them. Today, we meet virtually to confer hard earned degrees upon each of you. But more than that, we paused to celebrate your accomplishments as graduates of the University at Albany. You've shown perseverance, innovation, and resiliency, which has led you to this milestone moment despite the challenging circumstances we have all confronted. We have so much to be hopeful for, knowing that you're gonna take everything you've learned at the University at Albany and go out into the world and make a difference. The world needs greatness, and you are one of the greats. You're a special and unique bunch, and we have a special and unique ceremony planned just for you. Today, you're gonna hear from faculty, staff, students, and alumni, all of whom are here to celebrate you. But first, it's my pleasure to declare the 177th commencement ceremony at the University at Albany now in session. Let's do this. Yes, I remember my graduation. Um, it was quite a long time ago. In 1976, so you guys can do the arithmetic. I graduated from college in 1983. 1999. 1997, from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Whenever I speak at a graduation, I get goosebumps because it reminds me of my own. Because it was such a transformational step in my own life, um, because I went from a town of 65 in Missouri to having a degree. This, the, those feelings of like, yeah, I, I, I finished, but I'm ready for what's next. It was probably one of the most wonderful days of my life. We were probably under the illusion when I was young that we knew what the future held. We had no idea. Be willing to change. Be willing to take the skills that, that you have and take it into, into directions that you may never have considered. Now that you finish four years of undergraduate education, your passion should be ignited. Life's hard sometimes, life's full of challenges, and this group, probably unlike almost any other, has dealt with them in amazing ways like no one has in a century. We are a lot more resilient, more confident, and more collaborative. Those who are graduating this year, they are among the most giving, kind, generous, and prepared people to enter this next era. Problems are opportunities for us. We have so many more great opportunities now to do so many wonderful things. Thank you for staying with us, uh, continuing your education, continuing your journey, helping us realize the success that we had last year and letting us be a part of your journey going forward. Many of you are first generation graduates, as am I. For me and my family, I'm, I'm a first generation college student. And that was something that hadn't happened in my family in the normal plan, so I was the first to graduate and it meant a great deal to everyone who was there. 
You're the first in your families to receive a college degree, and this means so much, not just to you, but to your families as well. As you celebrate graduation, make sure you take a few minutes and recognize the people who are so important to your success. We should be all very grateful to our parents, families, friends, faculty, staff member, and each and every individual who helped us. You should be more than ready and prepared to face the future and face all of its challenges. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations. You will always be a great Dane. Bravo. Go do the incredible. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. The world needs you. It's a great day to be a great Dane engineer. You did it. Congratulations. To our class of 2021. You know, I don't, I don't want to make light of, of what's happened in the, in the past year and a half. It is, it's incredibly serious but roll with it. You have all of the skills in the world to be incredibly successful, and you will be. It's also, have fun. Hello, University at all. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the class of 2021. You are special, and I wouldn't want to miss congratulating you, COVID or not. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what is so important in life. Even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking. Don't forget, you have incredible assets, a college degree from a great institution, and loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. This past year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society. We must make our society better, and we know we will, because you are our future leaders and because we have faith in you. So to you, Albany, class of 2021, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Hey everybody, Jill Delaney here from the class of 96 and president of your Alumni Association. I'm happy to welcome you all to the family and congratulations to the class of 2021. It was no small feat. You did it in difficult circumstances. Despite this year's challenges, you persevered. You've come this far from all of your hard work. All that hard work is paid off. Now you're alumni. Four years of college, amazing achievement. You should all be very, very proud. You managed to complete your studies and graduate from college during a global pandemic. You are unstoppable. Go out and grab the world. It's waiting for you. Follow your dreams and never give up. We're all so proud of all of your accomplishments. We know you'll make us all proud. I hope that you feel confident that you Albany has prepared you for your success in the future. We all can't wait to see what you do with this next chapter in your lives. Be great, but always be grateful. This is the start of the rest of your lives. In my experience, the key to success has been fairly simple. You follow your dreams, you pursue your passion, and you always unleash greatness. Wishing you all the best in tapping into your creativity and your highest selves. My actual real wish is that you continue to make yourself proud and the university community proud of your achievement for decades to come. And a happy and healthy graduation to all. Go forward and unleash greatness. Remember, never give up and go Great Danes. You a you know. Congratulations, class of 2021. Go Great Danes. Now get out there and make a difference in your local community. Don't forget, your alumni family is here for you along the way. Congratulations and go Great Danes. Congratulations. Go Great Danes. Now go unleash your greatness on the world. Congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations. Unleash your greatness. Congratulations, class of 2021 Great Danes. Congratulations. Wishing you only the best. Congratulations. Unleash your greatness in the world. Congratulations again. Go Great Danes. Go Great Danes. Go Great Danes. Go Great Danes. Woo! Congratulations to the class of 2021. Members of the University Council, honored guests, faculty, staff, alumni, family, and friends. And last, but most importantly, our degree candidates from the class of 2021. 
It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the University at Albany's virtual commencement ceremony. Muy buenas noches y bienvenidos y bienvenidas a este evento de graduación tan importante para nuestros seres queridos y nuestros graduados. Let me start by saying that while all commencement ceremonies are extremely important, this one holds a special place in my heart as it is the first cohort of students that have completed their four-year degrees since I arrived as president of the University at Albany in 2017. I am truly honored and thrilled. One year ago, I stood in this same location for the same purpose, to celebrate the success of our graduates. But I can tell you with great certainty and immense pride that throughout this extraordinary year, the university has not stood still, we have stood together. Over the past several days, I have had the privilege to greet and congratulate hundreds of graduates who made their way through the Great Dane graduation experience at Casey Stadium. Given what our students have been through this year, it was a thrilling experience to see them come through the concourse, surrounded by their loved ones, hearing their names read over the loudspeaker and watching them walk across the stage. What a truly joyful moment this created for everyone involved. Graduates, let me tell you, after 14 months of being patient, suffering disappointments and losses, you earned this time of joy, pride, and excitement about the future. In fact, you deserve nothing less than pure, unadulterated happiness. And I am also confident that with all you have gained through the U Albany experience, including the challenges of the past year, you not only have the tools to write the next chapter of your story, but you have strengths and opportunities that you are not even aware of yet. No matter where that next chapter leads you, you have to think about and have opportunities to think, to dream, and to act across cultural and national or global boundaries beyond the moment, even beyond what once you thought was possible. I can tell you from my personal experience that you will be amazed at what you can achieve. And after this year and all your hard work, you can certainly say to anyone that doubts you, si sí, se puede, yes we can. My own journey to college was not an easy or straightforward, but my educational path transformed my life with the support from my family, from teachers and mentors, not that I only make it to college, I went on to graduate school in a career in higher education that has led me to become the 20th president of this great university, the University at Albany. And you will also have amazing opportunities to build on your current success and achieve great things because si se puede. I cannot help but feel truly inspired about what you will achieve individually and collectively. And one reason I feel so inspired is that U Albany is truly an engine of opportunity, a place that creates access and mobility for all, including first-generation college students. And in fact, 30% of our graduating seniors will be the first in their families to earn a four-year degree. 50 of you are veterans, and as a proud Air Force veteran myself, I welcome the opportunity to say thank you for your service to our country. And our graduates in all degree programs range in age from 19 
to 78. Think about that. You span at least four generations, representing an incredibly diverse set of experiences and perspectives. But no matter what you have done in the past, and whatever the future holds for each of you, let me tell you something I hope you will always remember throughout your lives. Never, ever be afraid to take a chance to make those difficult decisions. If there's one thing I have learned, it is that taking risks is the surest way to succeed. Yes, there may be setbacks, and yes, there might be mistakes along the way, but whatever happens, don't ever give up because si sí, se puede. As the great Nelson Mandela once said, do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. If you get back up and if you keep your eyes on the prize, you will certainly be the author of your success. Just as you have contributed greatly to this university, I know you will achieve great things in your chosen professions, in your communities, and as engaged global citizens. And now, please turn around and thank all those who have contributed to your success, especially your loved ones, and give them a big hug and say, I love you. And I know I speak on behalf of every member of our U Albany family when I say that it has been an honor to be part of your journey. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you on this tremendous achievement. Thank you for all that you have done and for all that you will do in the future. Thank you for helping U Albany reach its vision which is to be the nation's leading diverse public research university, providing the leaders, knowledge, and innovations to create a better world. And speaking of creating a better world, it is now my pleasure to welcome a very special individual to the stage. At just 19 years of age, UAlbany senior Fanta Ballo became the first ever recipient of a wonder grant from the Sean Mendes Foundation and Google this past December. This grant was provided to directly contribute to the completion of her passion project, a book of poetry titled, For All the Things I Never Got to Say, which is being released this month. In addition to her graduation with a bachelor's in economics, she is also a Spelman Scholar, recognized for her academic achievements during her time at UAlbany. Her spoken word and musical performances have inspired individuals at events ranging from social justice protests to the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. I am now delighted to add her voice to our ceremony with a performance of her poem entitled, Ascension. When you walk, remember to go one foot in front of the other, one breath before the rest when you breathe. Remember that you are a day wiser than yesterday and a minute older than earlier when you speak. Remember you hold the weight of the world on your tongue and words become actions and actions become reality And we were always told to love ourselves, but some days it gets hard where I'm trying to find love within But sometimes I feel like it's all a myth because everyone is here for the self-love But leave out the self-loathing like the days where you hate yourself But tell yourself keep going because no one wants to hear a sad story if it doesn't have a happy ending there's rules to this life, but sometimes it needs some bending And I be trying to save the world, that's why I do a lot of overextending I've helped people when they were down Those things I never mentioned, but when it's the other way around They'll never let me forget it I'm lost 
And I'd be lying if I didn't say that sometimes it gets hard. I know my potential. I know I can go far. But who do you turn to when your mind and heart is at war? When your heart is in it for the long run, but anxiety stops you in your tracks. Now you reminisce about the good days, wishing you could go back. Head filled with regrets about the things I can never change. But I'm wondering, would they still love me if I change my ways? Or will I still love me if I stayed the same? Will I ever get my respect for the road I paved? Or will they wait to give me my credit when I'm six feet in the grave? I'd be late night in my thoughts thinking, am I really made for this? And if everything was to go left, am I the one to blame for this? Got the weight of the world on my shoulder, but I'm not caving in because I have nothing to lose and way more to win. And I try to walk the right path, but I'm human, so of course I sin. And it took me a while to be comfortable with the skin I'm in, but I'm here. And I swear that 2020 was crazy, but it was definitely my year. I've lost people close, and for them I shed some tears, but I know my chakras are aligning. Ascension is near. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I am truly inspired. Thank you, Fanta, for that amazing performance and your powerful message. The entire U Albany community stands behind you and all of today's graduates as you ascend to the next big step in each of your lives. We cannot wait to see and hear what lies in store for you and the actions you will continue to take to create a better world. And it is now my privilege to introduce another outstanding graduate to the stage, our undergraduate speaker, Jennifer Norris. Jennifer is a biology major from Fairport, New York. And Jennifer may not know this, but she and I have something in common. I was a medical technician in the Air Force but clearly, Jennifer outranks me as she volunteers as an EMT with our five squad ambulance service where she currently serves as chief. Jennifer was also recently awarded an outstanding senior award as part of the President's Awards for Leadership. Please join me in welcoming Jennifer Norris. Thank you, President Rodriguez, and welcome students, families, and staff. Any other year, and I'd start with a nice to see you all, but this year I think it'd be more appropriate to go with a nice to feel all of your welcoming stares behind the camera. Despite the distance, I am honored to hopefully evoke some nostalgia, excitement, and you Albany spirit today. I would like to begin with some thank yous. Fellow graduates, if you haven't already taken the opportunity to say at least one thank you, I highly encourage you to. Reflecting, I'm sure you can think of at least one other person during your time at UAlbany who made a positive impact on you, large or small. No matter how isolated we've been physically and mentally, we've never truly been alone. Our success celebrated today and memories recalled of important mentors, friends, and family are enough of a testament to that. A few of my favorites include late evening podiating, rounds of soccer at the Green Beach, and office hours spent breaking down the distant persona of a professor. While these supports may change and memories may fade as years pass, this will never change the impact they have made on us here today or who they have set us up to become. Now, once that's completed, fellow graduates, I need you to at least give me one more thank you, this time to yourself. Thank you to the you who chose to study here years ago. Thank you to the you who pulled the all-nighters. Thank you to the you who joined that club, who pledged, who widened their perspective with that class. Thank you to the you sitting in your cap and gown. Sorry, mom, dad, but I'm the one graduating. Hey, we get to be a little selfish today. Seriously, class of 2021, we worked incredibly hard. I never thought that I could take going to in-person classes during the freezing temperatures and feet of snow for granted, but here I am wishing for those days. I suppose I have leapt around the elephant in the room for long enough. Coronavirus took a lot from all of us, whether it was simply your senior year experience or something much larger. Despite this, I have witnessed some of the greatest acts of unity, 
courage and empathy from this campus and class. Being a student and EMT, I have watched students pick each other up during those lowest points, both metaphorically and literally. Some of, hel some of us helped during this time as EMTs, some labored away in research labs, held down student hotlines, provided tech support and uplifted their friends, or simply remained strong and unwavering. Class of 2021, we spearheaded resilience against all the challenges before us. Allow me one more thank you. Thank you, Class of 2021, for your courage and adversity and compassion to others in need. Not a single one of us should be afraid to step towards a future we already own. Thank you and congratulations. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be the president of the University at Albany. And I am so very proud of our amazing students. Thank you, Jennifer, for your wise and motivating words and congratulations on your graduation today. And our next speaker will be the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Carol Kim. This provides me an opportunity to thank the Provost for her incredible leadership of our academic enterprise through one of the most challenging chapters ever. And with our innovative and resilient faculty and staff and these amazing leaders behind me and in front of me, Dr. Kim helped ensure today's graduates had a culminating year that upheld the academic excellence of the UAlbany experience. And now, to present our degree candidates, it is my pleasure to invite Provost Kim to the lectern. Thank you, President Rodriguez, and good evening, graduates and guests. This has truly been an unconventional time for the University at Albany. But then again, you are truly an unconventional group of graduates. While the final year of your UAlbany experience was not what we had planned for, you showed the skills that all the best Great Danes exhibit throughout their lives. Resilience, care for others, and a commitment to creating a better future for our communities. Tonight, we recognize candidates for bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, advanced graduate certificates, and doctoral degrees. The bachelor's degree, also often referred to as the baccalaureate degree, is the foundation of post-secondary education. These candidates have completed a program broadly based in the fundamental fields of the arts and the sciences, with specialized curriculum in their course of study. Among our graduates are those who are graduating with academic honors. We extend our sincere congratulations to those students who are graduating from our honors college, as well as students graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. The master's degree signifies the culmination of advanced learning in a specific area of study. It demonstrates the mastery of specialized knowledge in a discipline through analysis, critical evaluation, and or professional application. In some areas, including the fine arts, the master's degree is also the highest level of academic achievement. To those graduates receiving their master's degree, congratulations. Graduate certificates provide advanced specialized training in a particular discipline. Congratulations to all of our students who have earned certificates in a wide range of fields. The pinnacle of educational attainment the doctoral degree, is the most advanced degree one can earn. It is a rigorous endeavor requiring a significant level of research and articulation. To our doctoral students, congratulations. You are joining a small and revered group of individuals who advance knowledge in their fields. Graduates, wherever you are now, I ask you to stand, if you are able, for the conferral of degrees. President Rodriguez, in the name of the faculties of the schools and colleges of the University at Albany, as well as the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering, I have the honor of presenting these candidates to you that you may confer upon them degrees from the School of Social Welfare,
the School of Public Health, the Nelson A. Rockefeller College of Public Affairs and Policy, the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, the School of Education, the School of Criminal Justice, the School of Business, the School of Emergency Preparedness, Homeland Security, and Cybersecurity, and finally, the College of Arts and Sciences. President Rodriguez, these candidates have completed the degree requirements for their respective fields of study. On behalf of our faculty, I have the honor of presenting these candidates to you that you may confer upon them their degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you, Provost Kim. And here's the part that I love most about this ceremony. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the regents of the state of New York and the trustees of the State University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, Master of International Affairs, Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Health, Master of Regional Planning, Master of Science, Master of Social Work, Advanced Graduate Certificate, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Psychology, and Doctor of Public Health, as earned with all the rights privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations, felicidades everyone. <laughs> and just in case you forgot, and as I said before, si sí, se puede. Graduates, this brings us to the final ceremony of your U Albany experience and this year's commencement proceedings. Stage party, please be seated. An important symbol here at the University at Albany is the University Torch. This torch symbolizes the idea that knowledge, once acquired, can never be extinguished. And now it is our long-standing tradition to light the torch at the end of the academic year. And the way our community selects the annual igniter of the torch is another beloved tradition. The Faculty and Student Engagement Torch Award honors a faculty member who has had an outstanding positive impact on a graduating senior's academic and personal success. At this time, I am honored to recognize Dr. Samantha Friedman, Associate Professor of Sociology and this year's Torch Award winner. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, your students nominated you for your ability to listen as well as you teach and for your mentorship and support both in and out of the classroom. Congratulations again on this prestigious honor. Traditionally, we would have gathered together around the fountain to light the torch, with each of you lighting your own candle to let your individual flame contribute to the collective light we bring as one you Albany. Today, Although we are spread around the country and even across the globe, we have the opportunity to share our collective light. So please, with a candle or your phone, let your own light of knowledge shine. 
and through the wonders of social media, you can share your light with us this evening. Use the hashtag UAlbanyGrad so we can add your light to the social media stream that will play right here after the torch is lit. As this ceremony comes to an end, I ask each of you to use the knowledge you have gained at the University at Albany to fuel your success and illuminate your path as you depart your alma mater and embark upon your next adventure. Graduates, enjoy this moment. Take stock of your amazing achievements and please know your U Albany family is with you, cheering you on, celebrating your success because we believe in you and we know you will continue to unleash your greatness throughout the world. And again, never forget, si sí se puede. Muchísimas gracias y muy buenas noches. Dr. Friedman, at this time, please light the university torch. Sun.